What's up guys, Matco Michaels here, so let's take a look and see what he's got. You guys, come on. Man, you didn't sell enough this week. Well, you know, she's still on here. Man. What are you gonna do with him? Uh, she couldn't pull it off either. She was there. We had two approved and one uh, that wasn't, but. One had to ask his wife. So. Yeah, one had to ask his wife. We, we all know how that's gonna go. Very interesting that you should mention that point. So let's listen to that one more time and then see what her point of view was. We had two approved and one uh, that wasn't, but. One had to ask his wife. Yeah, one had to ask his wife. We, we all know how that's going to go. I can go about that differently when she ain't on here. You know what might be a good episode that we could do is get the wife's perspective on how the guy needs to approach the wife if he wants to buy a toolbox. Definitely not the way I did it. She called me at work wanting to know who John Shelton was. <laughs> Circled it on the bank statement. We had two approved and one uh, that wasn't, but. One had to ask his wife. So. Yeah, one had to ask his wife. We, we all know how that's going to go. Definitely yeah. not the way I did it. She called me at work wanting to know who John Shelton was. <laughs> Circled it on the bank statement. She, uh. Well, so you've been on both sides of that now. So now you can explain why it would be a good thing <laughs> going forward. But I do have a serious question. Let me get my phone out, my silica phone, so I can read this silica question. Phone. This guy said, he is trying to be a Matco dealer, and he wanted to know how long it took to uh, kind of get everything going. That his rep that he's talking to or whatever is dragging butt. Well, <clears throat> Seems like. I think he's two or three months into it. And yeah. So I I'll need to get his name and, and number and stuff so I can I can follow up. But I know it may just be that, or it may be the way they're working from home and everything else. Um, before he actually signs up, the they have to go survey his route. Like before he can right. sign any papers. They have to be able to show him what route he would have. So with COVID being like it is, <clears throat> in some states, they won't let you perform your survey duties because they don't, because of the lockdowns and everything like that. So I don't know what state he's in, um, but that's probably what's holding him up. Now, if he's already got his route and stuff, I'll definitely need to call and make sure it hasn't fell through the crack or anything. But um, I'm wanting to say once we, once we had our route, the next thing was to find the truck, and then it went. I mean, once you sign the papers, it it just it don't slow down. Right. You're, in, you're in warp speed at that time. But if yeah, if he hasn't been shown his route yet, that's probably what's slowing him down. Them trying to get a route together because I, to see it's it's not as easy as just calling these shops saying hey can we come in. They actually right. have to send. They, they have two people that go out, one that drives and one that's on the computer spotting shops and stuff. And one has to get out. There has to be a form filled out. And depending on, like I said, the state and everything, that may be what's slowing it down. Plus, we got a lot of people working from home. So that may be, Michael may not want to have two people riding together with a chance of getting COVID and everything yeah. else. But um, I know they're still doing classes. I think um, the last I heard, the last class may have been virtual. It may have been there. I don't, I'm not sure. But... Um, either way, if he's wanting to do it, we need to try to figure out what it is and, and get it corrected. But I think it took us two months, maybe total, from the day that I said, "Hey, I, you know, I want to do this." To, but now, I picked right up after another distributor, so they come down and surveyed pretty quick. They knew exactly where the shops was. They basically just wanted to make sure that I could come in, which they didn't tell everybody. Hey, we're getting a new Maco dealer. They just did it as like a. Hey, are you still good with Michael coming? But right. if he's if there's never been a Michael dealer in his area, that complicates some things. Um, 
but yeah, I'll I'll check into it and okay. and see. I mean, um, a couple. Chad, he said that he would contact his rep, and then he wouldn't hear nothing back. And I think okay. he's kind of getting a little discouraged with. Yeah, it. and see, I need to know which. I don't know if he's talking about his distributor that runs, or if he's talking to the actual district manager, or if he's actually talking to the RM because yeah. there's there's a regional manager, a district manager, and then the distributor that that is trying to help get him in. That could be, I mean, at any point of that, all the way up to the RM, with missing information, it'll slow it down right. 100%. And, you know, that distributor may be called up and trying to get his business settled with the COVID shakeup and everything. But yeah. uh, it won't take just a minute to call up and see what's going on and how we can get it rolling. Cool. Well, so y'all got pretty much both of them sold, but just having to wait on... Well, we, uh, uh, I hate to say it, but the most popular one is the blue one. Um, yeah, yeah. Everybody goes straight to it. and I mean, if if the initial uh, I want this box was a guarantee, then, yeah, it would have sold tenfold <laughs> by now. But there's one kid that drooled over it for a while yesterday, and he kept telling me that he wouldn't be approved, wouldn't be approved. And then when he got approved, it was like, oh, crap, i got to talk to my wife. You know, I didn't think we'd get this far. So it was like, well. Right. Okay. He might as well go on and do it. He ain't gonna get one no prettier than that unless well, he gets a th- white one. Yeah, and the thing, I'm, <laughs> the thing about it is, like I told him, he's he's working out of a Harbor Freight box right now, which is fine. It's did him just fine, but he's wanting to step up into one of these. You know, I told him, I said this is probably won't need to be your last box. I mean, yeah. you, you can upgrade to it. You can go up. You can go to the sides. Right. Um, you can change the trim color, but I don't think I'd necessarily want to buy this this kind of box and then decide well you know i want a different mm, one so that's true whether that happens or not i don't know but. well i can tell him i'm i'm well pleased with uh with my success by far yeah i like it the the only the only deal on on toolboxes in christmas time is everybody's waiting to after christmas you know everybody's slowing <laughs> down it, it's yeah. it's hard to make other people people understand that yeah. You're not paying for this thing up front. It's, it's, you know, you're not putting no down payment. I mean, if you do, that's great. Some people yeah. won't buy a box without putting a down payment. But, you know, I understand they want to wait. And uh, there's a lot of, especially around here, COVID numbers are up a little bit. So there's a lot of kind of panic on what's going to happen. So it's, yeah. you know, it is what it is. We'll, we'll move on. You got a beer bottle. That's what I was going to show. Well, that's not necessarily a beer bottle. Um, can be. Uh, but it'll actually hold it, it's got, actually got a bottle opener so it'll actually open the bottle then you can take it and take it apart put your bottle in put it in and it'll hold it so to keep it warm cool whatever I don't, I, if you're drinking warm beer you're the only wrong. one drinking drinking hot stuff well, I, it's like some cold. well <laughs> it's gonna go into wine to keep it warm here in a minute but then you can take this off you can actually drink out of this but then we also have a ring that goes on here that'll keep your can. cans and stuff. Yeah. So uh, it, it's a four in one. Uh, I like it because they etched this in. They didn't put a sticker here. Yeah. So I really like that. It's, I mean, it's, it's lightweight, but it feels like it's made pretty sturdy. I know this one is because it's bounced off the floor a couple of times. So. Those are cool. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm just going to say this, and this is for all my fellow beer connoisseurs out there. If you got to put your beer in that to get it, keep it cool while you drink it, Not you're drink sipping it on it. You, you need to move back to chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink. So. That is cool, though. But, no, this is kind of a cool Christmas gift. And it's, it's I actually, for what it is, a four-in-one, it's, I mean, it's a pretty pretty cool little gift. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool. not it's not expensive. Um, there was something else I wanted to show as far as we're getting close to Christmas. So, um, it's right back there. Um uh, if you'll look, there's a actual building block oh, truck yeah. set. So that's the perfect Christmas gift for little ones. Um, well, I hope the, y'all got one of them for y'all little boy. I know we got the wooden tool bench. Um, I know he loves tools. I don't think we got him the Lego. Uh, I don't. It, I don't know if that's. That's probably a little. It. Those little pieces probably ain't a good idea right now. Yeah, we held off on that. Um, we uh that is cool right there though we got him a lot of a lot of little i think we bought him what that a little toolbox type deal that maco sells um but with it being christmas time that's what everybody's looking for something to get there yeah yeah we got a little ride on jeep 
Um, the, the thing about these last couple of things that we showed you, they're so hard to get a hold of. Your, your dealers may have a bunch and then they may not have any. Right. Um, I know as far as these go, there's still dealers waiting on them. I saw the other day where people had ordered, I think I ordered 10 just to see how they would do. Now there were some distributors that had ordered like 40 and 50, so yeah. they were still waiting. And then uh, one of our dealers uh, ordered 50 of the truck sets. So I know they're out there. I know there's a lot, but whether or not your dealer took advantage of it, I think we had to buy that stuff back in July. So uh, I know there was a lot of people wanting those beanies that you showed. I had probably, there's probably 20 comments on there. What, I can't get them on the Matco website. Where, yeah. How do I get one? So I know for a fact that we, um, the last I checked, they were still in stock. Um, there was a couple of questions that other distributors had that when they ordered them, uh, it had like a shipping hold. I've never heard of that. So I'm just waiting to see if I get my extra um, batch of black back in. The black ones were the most popular ones, yeah. of course, because they're not as bright and um, people like me don't like bright things. So, right. But uh, we, we ordered uh, 10 more last night to see what we can get. I don't... Uh, I would love to order, you know, 20 or 30 more, but with so many people wanting them and stuff like that, right. I don't want to try to hog all of them, but, um, yeah, I know, uh, we sold out of the black our first day, um, and then several of the other distributors were posting that, you know, they had ordered 40 and 50 and were gone. I mean, they just, so, they really popular, really well priced, and good Christmas gifts, I guess. There's a lot of people buying it for it. Yeah. They're cool. Sure enough. <clears throat> I know these things right here are nice. They are. A lot of people, if you've never, I think that's what I'm talking about. Yes. A lot of people don't even know uh, what <laughs> what those are for. I guess I bought a, a set of them and they are, they are nice. Yeah, I, I never had the luxury of having those. Um, but we've had a couple of shops that's kind of describe something that they needed it's like mm -hmm. is this what you're looking at it's like well, i had those in my hand a while ago i didn't know. yeah that, <laughs> yeah. that'll do it that's yeah. it but man yeah. they clean them terminals some kind of good you you'd be surprised at how much trouble uh well i don't guess you would be surprised but people that's never did electric will be surprised how much stuff will go wrong mm -hmm. with a corroded terminal i mean it will act your it'll make your vehicle act stupid and you'll replace Part well, a lot part. of the stuff that I was having trouble with, of course, obviously, is trailer connections. Yeah. But a lot of people will buy, you know, say a dually, and they pull their camper with it or have a fifth wheel or gooseneck, and the plug in the bed yeah. is where, we're, where always the trouble is. Or when they unhook the trailer, they leave it laying. Instead of leaving the plug dangling down, they yeah. leave it sideways. And, man, them right there, especially on those flat blade ones, now the round ones, I, I found better luck using the little brushes with those. Yeah. But those right there on those flat blade connectors. Yep. Yeah, sure is nice. A lot of a lot of vehicles get parched on that because they don't yep. check the connections. I mean, you'll have an issue that'll show itself every once in a while. Mm -hmm. um, can't ever can't ever find it, and you finally go and undo the connector, and it's just all corroded and yep. just here or there issue, and but. That's just one of those things. I mean, if you're not you're not good at electrical, it'll trick you every time. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Well, man, sounds like y'all have been getting ready for a big Christmas. And yeah, yeah. Um, we got we got a couple. We're gonna try to figure out the best way to to have them and everything. But I know it's COVID makes it rough. You know, Andrew. <laughs> He graduated the Air Force and he's in his um, in his training now, so he's gonna get come home on the nineteenth, and it's gonna be hard to try to because he's only home for you know like a week and a half. Yeah. So we gotta really manage our time with who and how we can go see them people. So yeah, well that's us. I mean, we with everybody we've got a couple of high risk family members that we don't want to take anything to. So you know it's. One of those things, uh, I don't, I'm not worried so much about myself, but there's a couple of elderly people yeah. and a um, couple of people that's got uh, like different conditions and stuff that mm -hmm. makes them high risk that we don't want to take nothing to. So, 
we love we want to spend it with them but we also don't want to make them sick in the process so that's true it's one of those things yep but. all right guys i guess we're gonna turn this thing off and get in here and get back to work we got a toyota that's gonna be a fun job <laughs> all right guys like always thanks for watching if you like the video hit that thumbs up Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes is in the description. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Y'all have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.